and welcome back to my channel. I know it's dark, but I have just accepted the fact that it is winter time in Texas and there's no natural sunlight. And I just don't like how yellow I look with natural light, like meaning my, my light bulbs. So anyways, if you are new to my channel and you clicked on this, I'm excited for this review. And if you don't know, I don't put anything toxic into my body, onto my skin, into my hair, or into the environment. And this has been my journey. So stay tuned. Combining. We're combining. Making up words. Yeah, yes. What, what? No, okay. We are combining <laughs> a bunch of different things in one. So this is kind of going to be my scrunchy style sort of video. Before I heard about the curly gear method, before I heard about David Curls, and if you don't know what I'm talking about, I have plenty of videos on that that I will share. I, I used to scrunch my hair with a kind of, I don't know what other word is I, besides scrunchy to use. It would be a tacky, sticky, crunchy, hard, gel-like sort of curl, which I'm not a fan of. So um, this product, John Frieda's Frizzy's Dream Curls Daily Styling Spray, is a crunchy product, kind of like a sea salt spray. This product, Tresemme Expert Selection Perfectly Undone, is a sea salt spray, which I would use again. <laughs> I would not use this one. I might, I don't know. Both of these products are very similar, and the only time I would ever use these would be when I was physically out on the lake, and I was okay with that kind of look to make it so I could walk into a restaurant after being on the boat. But even then, I would probably just use my Dava Curls, uh, I have it, I have it, the, uh, Dava Curls Wave Maker Touchable Texture Whip. I would probably just take this on the boat with me. So here's the full size, here's the little one. I would just throw this in my bag like with my homemade sunscreen and call it good. So, and if, and I would throw that in there with um, with my conditioners, which I have an, will have another video coming out for that soon. So these two products do a scrunchy look, like a sea salt kind of spray. So if you don't care about sulfates, silicones, and parabens, and you don't care about inhaling different chemicals that are inside of these products and you're not looking for a natural, more holistic approach, these are gonna be fine for you. They work really great as far as what's on the market in this sort of category. Um, if you are like me and you bought them and then you don't wanna be wasteful and you just keep them around, you should probably give them to a friend who doesn't care about that stuff. This is the Red Ken Curvaceous line. I love the way this product smells and I have been known to use it as a hairspray like a wet gel-like sort of hairspray on my braided up and things that I do, which are inspired by Kaylee Melissa. Uh, I don't do that very often, I, I, and I just, I know it's dumb, but like I can't use these products anymore because I've gone into the natural like industry or field so much that I just don't enjoy them anymore, and I just don't like a tacky, textured feeling to my hair. So if you are okay with the crunchy feel, go for it. I don't need the crunch anymore because I've allowed my curls to heal to the point where it's not as necessary as it was when I was first trying to embrace my natural curl because if you damaged it a lot from heating, from styling, from blow dryers, from curling irons, from straighteners, your hair kind of needs that extra oomph from the product. But as you go off of these products, your hair is gonna look prettier, it's gonna look healthier, it's gonna have less frizz, and you're not gonna need as much product because you haven't done as much damage. Unfortunately, most of these products have alcohols and other damaging things on top of already heating it and styling it and dying it. So you're just like adding f literally fuel to the fire. You're making your hair frizzier. You're making it more damaged with the products that you're using. So the cleaner you go with your product, the cleaner you go with your diet, the cleaner you go with your styling tools, the less dyes you use, the better it is. So choose what works for you in your lifestyle if you're interested in trying that. You know, um, and, and go, you know, maybe try a philosophy product like Living Proofs with Kaylee Melissa is a great transition thing. I've talked about this product. Uh, maybe try, like this was when I kind of got into transitioning, and then you kind of just go from there. So, so use what's most comfortable for you. And that is sort of my review of crunchy stuff. Now, I, I don't recommend it, so what I like to do instead to help with frizz is I like to use uh, the Diva Curl Wave Maker, and this will give you really bouncy curls, not the mermaid waves that I talk about in life. And then if you want, I do use glycerin, which is kind of a controversial topic in the health world, but vegetable glycerin from the Now brand with a little bit of distilled water in a container and it helps with the frizz. You don't want to use this every single day because it can weigh your hair down if it's fine like mine. And I, I don't know if I mentioned this already. I have fine hair that's wavy. It's about mid-length. I live in a humid state. It's hot. I work out every day and I use a lot of dry shampoo and I only wash my hair once a week. 
all ties into the products that I like to use. So if those are different from what you like to use, let me know why. Maybe you have curlier hair, maybe you have longer hair, maybe you have the same problems I do and you have other solutions. Whatever it may be, please share. But this combination is very healthy, it's not damaging, and I keep it away from my roots because that's where I put my dry shampoo to give me volume. So I have volume at the top, and then I have softness at the bottom, and this works a lot better than the crunchy kind of stuff, and it's a lot less damaging. Um, please subscribe uh, if you want to see weekly videos. If you enjoy my reviews, give it a thumbs up, share with your friends, hit the bell icon, you know all the BS they always tell you to do. I really just want you to have an awesome, wonderful life, and please interact with me down there in the comments below, and we'll get this going. See you guys next time. I'm going to wave shit at you. Yeah, yeah, what, 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 what in the butt? No? God, they jiggle. Ugh.